The only way you're going to see visible abs is if you diet. All right, so in this video, Shulk is basically saying that in order to see your abs, you need to be at a low enough body fat percentage. And the only way to do that is through a calorie deficit. And he also goes on to say that you can still grow your abs by training them. But the only way that you're going to reveal them is by losing fat. And while I do agree for the most part with what he's saying, and it is true to an extent, I do want to say that this just simply isn't going to work for beginners who are already skinny, already lean, and they just don't have abs to begin with. And the problem is if you start to lose weight, you're just going to get smaller you're just gonna look even worse and the reason for this is just because you don't have abs your abs are not developed you've never trained them and just like any other muscle in order for them to look good you need to grow them it's just that the funny thing with abs is once you get them they're extremely easy to maintain so once you're satisfied with how they look you really don't need to train them ever again assuming that you're still eating and training you know somewhat correctly then once you get abs you really don't need to worry about losing them just because they're so easy to maintain but the takeaway that i want to give you guys in this video is that you do need to grow your abs if you want to develop them and build them and you can't see them at a low enough body fat you do still need to grow them and you can do this through direct ab training uh, for fast results or you can just you know rely on indirect compound movements uh, that involve your core and in this case it's probably smarter to enter a surplus so you can work on growing them alongside the other muscles in your body and then once you're satisfied with the amount of weight you put on and you want to start to lose fat then you can go into a calorie deficit and reveal them and you know once you get abs at that point you pretty much have them for Forever, and you don't really have to worry about growing them if you don't want to but again you have to train your abs in order to grow them and you have to lose fat in order to reveal them they are not the same thing you might hear people saying like oh if you want to grow your abs be in a calorie deficit that's just not how it works you can't grow your abs by being in a calorie deficit you reveal your abs by being in a calorie deficit but if you don't have abs you're not going to reveal anything so in that case you need to grow them enter a calorie surplus if you're skinny train your abs either directly or indirectly uh, and that is how you get Abs. But the reason I kind of wanted to address this is because this is something I dealt with at the start of my lifting journey. You know, I was in a predicament where I didn't really know how to get abs and I was already skinny and I wanted to. Uh, so hopefully this helps some people who are kind of in that same boat. And as a beginner, it's already extremely easy to build muscle. Why not take advantage of being in that calorie surplus uh, to grow all your muscles, grow your abs. And then again, once you're satisfied, then you can cut down uh, and reveal, you know, what you've built. But hopefully that clears up any misunderstandings in the industry uh, and gives you a little bit more insight on how to grow your abs and how to reveal them. Uh, and yeah, I hope that helps.